The bell is a symbol of the city's unity and passion. Ring the bell, big Sixers victory in game three. I am Kyle Scott, crossingbroad.com. Sixers with the big win, taking the two to one series lead. Let's talk a little bit about game four. Pick up the trusty old pointer. Sixers are actually plus one and a half underdogs heading into game four. You can find them plus one, plus two in some places, averaging out at about plus one and a half. Let's talk about series odds, however. They are now the favorites with home court advantage and the series lead. Cheap as you can get them right now is at points bet at minus 125. Raptors for the first time in the playoffs are plus money, plus 106 to win the series. Kind of not a bad bet if you think the Raptors are going to bounce back here and overall are the better team. Vegas, the books, the betters, they kind of think so. Sixers not getting a ton of respect after two excellent efforts and another home game in game four. It's the same line as it was headed into game three. Not sure that makes a ton of sense. That might move. We're recording this Friday afternoon. If you like the Sixers, to win, to cover, I'd hop on that line. I could see it flipping. Let's talk about some of the boom keys to game four. First off, fat Kyle Lowry, it pains me to say it as a Villanova guy, out getting cookies after the game. He is not playing well. He's been, quite frankly, putrid in this series. 35% from the field, 14% from three, averaging 12 points per game in the series. Not great. All plays in to some of the bench and call it ancillary struggles for everyone but Kawhi Leonard. In the series, the Raptors are averaging or are getting 62.4 points more per 100 possessions when Kawhi is in the lineup without him. Not good, not good at all. They need help from somewhere else, and Lowry, Lowry's got to be that guy. Can't just be Leonard and a little bit of Siakam. I find, honestly, I think Siakam got out and manned by Embiid last night after that foul call. Then he gets blocked, looked like a little kid next to his countryman. Uh, let's talk a little bit about balance. This isn't a balance beam. I tried to get a seesaw. All I could find was a swing set. Point is, neither team has put together their best effort in the same game yet. You crazy outliers here. Crazy outliers in the series. Kawhi Leonard in game one, 45 points, plus 26. Joel Embiid in game three, absolutely dominant, plus 31. His best mark of the season. You have not seen the best players the best efforts from each team in the same game. I think we get that in game four. I think it's a balanced matchup. Probably justifies the close line. And then rebounding, that's a basketball. Sixers have out-rebounded the Raptors 145-111 to 111 in the series, dominating on both ends, imposing their will physically, mentally, every way you, you really probably can. Let's talk about some trends heading into game four. So this is home teams in game four, coming off one or two straight wins as the Sixers are. They're 58 and 53 straight up. If it's two consecutive wins, it's 13 and nine specifically. Let's take a look at that against the spread, 55, 53 and three, 12, eight and two. If it is two games, those are against the spread numbers. So some positive trends working in the Sixers favor four game four teams in this situation. But the big one, again, we called this out in the last video with their full starting lineup. The Sixers, 13 and four straight up, and now 11 and six against the spread. Look, I don't know where the series goes. I can make an argument either way. The Sixers have been dominant in two straight games now. They got another home game, clear, clear home court advantage. Kind of surprised they have the same number they do coming into game four as they did in game three. If you like the Sixers to win or cover, I'd hop on this now. While the Sixers are the dogs, you might be able to get them plus two in some places. Plus two, not telling you what to do here. It could go either way. But if you like the Sixers, I'd hop on them early before that line flips. Hit the link below, subscribe to our channel, and go Sixers.